Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to do the surface area and the volume of a hemisphere. The hemisphere is basically half of a sphere. So you will notice that the formulas we use are very similar to the ones that we use in a sphere. All we are doing is we are literally cutting off the sphere in half. In order to calculate the surface area of a hemisphere, what we're going to do is we're going to use for this part, we are going to use a sphere formula. So remembering from your previous videos, the formula for the surface area for a sphere was 4 pi r squared. So we know that the surface area for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. But we don't want a sphere we want half of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by 2. So you're taking the sphere and you're cutting it in half. So what we have is 2 pi r squared. Now what is r? If you look they give us the diameter. The diameter is 120. Now from your previous knowledge you should know that d diameter is equal to 2r which means that if your diameter is 120 then your r is going to equal to 60. Now remember when you are doing the hemisphere you need the radius. You know that the radius is going to be 60 here but it's also 60 here and the radius is consistent everywhere which means that it will also be 60 from here to here. So what do we have for the surface area of the top part of the hemisphere? We have 2 pi and our r is 60 close brackets squared which gives us 7200 pi centimeters squared. Remember it is squared because we are calculating area. But this is not the complete surface area of the hemisphere. Remember when they are saying surface area we are talking of the entire surface area. Now remember what we had calculated is this top part. But if you look at the hemisphere you will notice that this bottom part here is also a surface. So if you had taken a bowl and you've putting it on the on the table the bottom circle is also part of the surface. So this gray part here is what we also have to calculate the area for. Now that forms a circle. So what is the area of a circle? We had done the area of a circle before. It was pi r squared. Now we already done the hemisphere which was the top part. Now we're doing the area of the circle. So this is the circle part. This was the hemisphere part. So we've got pi r squared which is equal to pi. We know r is still going to be 60. We're going to have 60 squared which is going to equal to 3600 pi centimeters squared. So our answer for the circle is 3600 pi centimeters squared. If I want the surface area I have to add the two answers. So my final answer is going to be 7200 pi centimeter squared plus 000, giving us 10800 pi centimeters squared. So the total surface area of this hemisphere is going to equal to 10,800 pi centimeters squared. Once you've calculated the surface area, the total surface area, the next question is calculate the volume of a hemisphere. Now if you remember from a sphere, the volume of a sphere was 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we have that the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. But what would the volume of a hemisphere mean? It will be this answer divided by 2. Now we've already got that R is 60. So the volume is, we're going to take the volume of the sphere which is 4 over 3 
pi r cubed and then we're going to divide it by 2. So we have 4 over 3 pi, we've already got that r is 60 and it's to the power of 3. So the volume is 288,000 pi centimeter cube. But remember what we've calculated now was the volume for the sphere. What we need to do now is we need to take this answer and divide it by 2. So remember this is the volume for a sphere. But we are taking that answer and we are now dividing it by 2 because what they're doing is they're taking the sphere and they're cutting it in half. The final answer for the volume of the hemisphere is going to equal to 144,000 pi centimeter cubed. Remember centimeter cubed because we are doing volume. Thank you for watching.